What's up, Redeemers? Welcome back to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Redeemers, to another reaction. My name is Ty. I'm Nick. I'm Nida. Lunida. I'm Keith. I'm, I'm Curtis. I'm Zach. I'm Mary Jane Tabaki. Mary Jane Tabaki. I'm Zach. All right, y'all see the thumbnails. NCT 127 with Simon Says. Please. This is the music video. Y'all know I don't do the long talk. Let's get into it. <laughs> Was so funny. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. First domino. We should admit it. I don't know. <laughs> I know that ain't who I think it is. Uh, okay. Oh, shut up. Shit. Oh, I thought. That's the same. Hey, hey, let's go. Back and forth like kissing stuff. the table like this. <laughs> I'm gonna break of hearts. <laughs> Hit him with the Jeff Goldblum. He's a killer, killer. <laughs> Hey, hey, what the? Oh, Johnny, I see. <laughs> they probably got to hit you with the. Y'all, that shit is beautiful. Nice, yeah, nice. Took it See? See? That was nice. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. That zombie walk was crazy. I know I'd probably be annoying when I say this, but outside, Fire! Of, outside, Fire! Of, outside of like BTS, we always count them as kind of like a transcender of the yeah. genre. I don't, I, me personally, I don't think nobody fucking with NCT. Mm. Um, they so cool. Like it's like they they cool. They swaggy. The vocal runs that they do. These be the vocal runs we be like clamoring for at the end of like other songs and stuff like that. And they have four or five vocalists in each subunit that can run anything at the at the end of like a song. Dances are always cool. The choreography here was just 
it, it wasn't like uh, obviously we've seen like breathtaking and like performances where you almost got to stand up and leave. Yeah. This was still like like decent. It was unique and and something in itself. And this harkens right back to the whole SM timeline thing. They make a music where this sounds like some NCT shit. Like you know what I mean? This don't sound like just some generic like oh we didn't copy something we heard from the U.S. And you yeah. know, just kind of put it out there. This sound like something that was organic and something they they're able to kind of play with instruments and do certain shit musicality. Like the musicality that they fool with is sounds that sound like they shouldn't be together sometimes, but it just works for them, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, even with songs when it doesn't work, I find myself kind of listening two or three more times, and then it just just kind of there for me. But that's my NCT rant. Um, that was cool. I thought this was a pretty cool okay. vid, actually. Uh, just, you know, even with like the, um, what you call it, background and everything like that, when you put like the red filter on it mm -hmm. and then the chrome right there, I thought it was just pretty, because I don't know, it kind of puts you in the mile of set, like they're in one like particular place, like almost like a garage or something like mm -hmm. that. But I don't know. Then you see them at <laughs> some parking lot. Yeah, shit. I was just about to say it's probably like a lot <laughs> or something. <laughs> I like how they were sitting on the card of a Ferrari's fire. But um, no, nah, I love uh, Mark and which and uh, what was that? Tae Young's Tae Young's Yeah, Mark mm -hmm. and Tae Young's rats are just crazy on this. This is probably my favorite rats from both of them, actually. On this one. Yeah. How'd you feel vocally? Oh, I thought, uh, I, I don't know if that was Do Young or Tae Young that kept that. I know it at the end? Yeah, no. Bruh. It was, it, it sounded more Tae ish a little bit. Yeah. Like, because I feel like he, um, he go there. Yeah, yeah. Well, Do-young can too, but I, I, I feel it's so it's, like, it's yeah. ways that they do it. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, yeah, definitely. That's why I think it was. <laughs> I think it was Do-young. I could be wrong. Y'all let us know in the comments. Well, I know you guys are going to cover the music, so I'm going to cover their clothes. So, whoever styled them, they did a really great job, might I say. From the mask, like everyone masks look fire in the beginning, like the gas masks, the fur one, that was dope. Then, yeah, the color that's color definitely color. what it's giving you. <laughs> like them in a little <laughs> office around a big table. It was definitely drippy. The ones that was laying on the, uh, so drippy, so drippy. on their back paws. <laughs> he was definitely drippy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> super kinky. No, I thought the video was cool. Wait, did you want to talk Mary Jane? Um, yeah, kind of to piggyback off of what you said, the clothing definitely was dope. Um, I was happy when I seen uh, that they're, they're shot in another location because I didn't know, like, what you said, though, like, if they were, like, just, like, in one location and the way the song seemed, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted a lot of, you know what I'm saying, location, more locations, but I was happy to see that there was. I did like the, um, them at the big table that I wish it was more shots because that table was just, like, really Fucking dope. huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, given... <clears throat> What King Arthur vibes, um, but the guy at the end who did the long note was who was that? Uh, I think that's the guy that was talking yeah. about. Yeah. That, that was. was what I said. It sounded a little more tailish to me. Amazing, mm -hmm. and I do agree with you, Nick. When you was like, we'd be wanting <laughs> that at the end of songs, and right. if you, yeah, like <laughs> that was still the deal for me. They, they set themselves apart too. Yeah, this is not my first time hearing this. I mean, hearing them. We played a couple of songs, I believe. Um, I do like them, and this is definitely a download. <laughs> but my favorite is the clothes. <laughs> now, I thought this drum was crazy. I thought the choreography was dope. Um, even just them kind of walking around in a zombie walk and then popping up and then popping down on beat was crazy. Um, there was a, a part in the video where they had like the, the red and black background aesthetic and it looked almost like Seventh Sense, which is funny because we were talking about that earlier today. Shit, that's win win. Um, yeah. And like this song for me just, just hit. It was, the beat was crazy. Tay went off. Um, I'm sorry, y'all just said it, but the guy that hit the note at the end. Tail. Tail. Correct yourself with that. No, um, killed it. So like that was just fire. Um, but this is definitely a downloadable song. I downloaded this like two minutes into the jump. That's funny. Yeah, no, I thought the jump was cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like not to be long winded, but it was all right. Yo, not to be long winded. Yeah, I'm be right. I ain't long winded. Man. 
the fuck? Talk more. Um, Guys, laugh. You have to talk. <laughs> you have to talk for him. <laughs> Yo, too. <laughs> nah, I like I like this. Jones giving me like almost sort of like they were rebelling against something. Um, that's kind of the vibe I got from it. The video was shot cool. I like videos that are more simplistic. Um because sometimes it can be a little jarring Shit. with like all the different visuals and stuff like that. But this was a little more simplistic, I like that. Um, Cause then it could help you focus more on the song. And even though we don't have the subtitles, but focus more on what they're actually saying. Um, but I guess y'all can let us know in the comments what they're talking about. But overall, this is cool. I like this show. Right, yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, I thought I thought this was really solid. I love um I love the beat progressions that they that they had in the song. I think NCT is always really unique in their beat selections. I don't know if it's necessarily the same producer or if it's things that they produce, but their production definitely seems like it has like its own identity to it. That's very unique with them, which I love. And as you said, even if the beat can be jarring at times or something that's a little against the grain, so to speak, it feels like it's like if you listen to it like kind of two three times or something, you might. Like, you just really find yourself identifying with their sound, which I always think is a really great sign for a group. Um, I love the choreography in this a lot. Um, I like how they did have the, as you would say, Keith, like the little zombie walk in the circle and everything like that. Um, you know, just that idea of mimicking something and then kind of breaking off and coming into your own. Like, I just think the choreography elements that go into that um, are definitely going to be interesting to see. Um, I love the match cut in the video, too, of the... Um, when they cut to the Ferrari, but then it zoomed in on the wheel, mm -hmm. and it kind of like turned the wheel on its side, and that's when you got the conference table sequence, which I thought that was really well directed. You get a lot of zoom shots where it feels like everyone's like kind of in a circle together, keeping with the Simon Says thing, but then it um, quickly zooms, and they seem like they're more distant from you, um, which I thought was really telling with like you know with the theme, I guess, of the song and everything. Um, and lastly, just to touch again on that bridge, that high note that was hit towards the bridge, and the way the beat switched up during that. Um, that really stood out most to me, I would say. But no, nah, this was a really, really great song. I want to segue with that too because um, I forgot to mention that the um, when it switched off, that was one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. switch offs. Like that sounded like that should have been a whole other song. Yeah, I was should. actually uh, mad at the end. The second half beat <laughs> yeah. um, stood out to me more personally, but just because I thought it was more beautiful, as you would say. Yeah, like I don't. I'm assuming I, from what I heard, I heard Henshon. Do Young and Tyel on there, like kind of yeah, doing vocal exchanges. Um, yeah, uh, what's his face? Other King could have been on there too. Um, no, nah, I said Hinchon. Um, 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 uh, start with a J. The boy that was on the table, um, Jay Young. I think uh, I think his name is Jay Young. Um, like he could have been in that vocal exchange too, but that sound like that should have been a whole another song. And I hate kind of, not like hate when NCT does this, where it'd be like some real hip hop shit or some EDM shit. That should have died down, and then someone comes out like, ah, and then it's turning a West Side Story or something, and you'd be like, wait, what's this? Then the hip-hop joints jump back on, you'd be like, I I'm here with you, but like, take me back. <laughs> In America. It's <laughs> a good joke. Um, yeah, but anybody else say anything they want to add about this? Y'all know Vibes Man hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other NCT tracks we need to jump into. If y'all haven't, make sure y'all watch that SM Timeline video. Mm -hmm. My guys were on there. Other than that, we love you guys to death. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. Take care.